Hi guys, welcome to the Creating Smart Maps with Python and Leaflet course. In this course, we will be building a full stack GIS application in Python using open source software. So the purpose of this application is to combine geospatial analytics and software development to create smart GeoDjango applications. We will be working with residential water consumption data and we will be applying data processing techniques to extract, transform, and load the data into our spatial database. Once we have cleaned and processed the data, we will use it as our data source for building our GeoJango web application. We will be powering our application with a PostgreSQL and PostGIS database. In the front end, we'll be using Bootstrap, JavaScript, Leaflet, and Ajax. In the back end, we will be using Python and Django combined with the use of scientific libraries like Pandas for our data processing. The operating system that we are coding in is Ubuntu Linux LTS. We will be displaying a smart map that will display the average water consumed by each suburb in the Cape Town region in kiloliters for that month. We will be displaying this information in a bubble plot, also called circle markers, so the size of the circle determines the amount of water that's consumed in kiloliters by each suburb. So the bigger the circle is, the more water the suburb has consumed, and the smaller the circle is, the less water the suburb has consumed. We will also be visualizing the top 10 suburbs that have consumed the most amount of water, and we will display that information in a horizontal bar chart. We will also add a map legend, which is custom made with CSS to display the classes of consumptions that we see on our map. So the data is fed into the map by a web service that we will create. As you can see, we can get the data by calling the endpoints. We can also change our base maps using the layers control to display the data from a different viewpoint. For example, if we want to see how the suburbs look like, we can use the Esri World Aerial Map. And if we just want to focus on the data, we can switch over to the dark map and we can analyze the data in this view as well. So that's the application that we will be building in this course. I hope you guys will enjoy it and learn a lot from it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the course. Thank you.